Disciples, given in English on September 16, 2020, with Supreme Master Television team members. Master, did President Trump really mediate Korean peace? Yeah, he must have mediated it because uh, an event of such a magnitude cannot take place without, you know, the U.S. intervention or arrangement. Even maybe he did that behind the scene. He must have done that. And then also now he mediates the Middle East peace. It happening, yeah? Yes. yes. It's yes. A successful. And then he stopped human trafficking, or at least he cared about it. Yes, yes Master. Master. All this is very important for the whole world, okay? Yes. And whatever inconvenient for some people, like immigrants or some Americans, uh, then uh, we just have to try to improve it somehow, if we can. Hmm? Yes, yes, Master. But otherwise, uh, to be in his position, uh, you know, it's very difficult. Any position, top position is difficult. You cannot please everybody. Yes, yes Master. Master. Uh, if you please this group, then the other group criticize you. Hmm? Yes. They expect the president to make miracle, but he's only a human. He, he has his own character, he has his own... I'm just talking uh, fairly. Yes, yes. Yes, Master. In fact, when he voted for president, I was surprised too, like many of you, huh? Yes. Who I thought, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think many people also did not expect that he won, right? Yes. No, yes. So anyway, he won, so God must have wanted it, huh? Yes. Then we just keep him for now, huh? Yes, okay? Yes. At least he has worked good for the world. He made peace. That means save, yeah, you don't know, Counters of lives, you see what I'm saying? Yes, Master. And that may be earning his merit to become president again. Okay? Yes, yes. yes Master. At least he doesn't make war. He doesn't waste Americans' lives in foreign land. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. To be a soldier in some foreign land, far away from your family, your friend, your girlfriend or your wife, your kid, is no party, okay? Yes, Master. It's not fun, yeah? Yes. So if he withdraw the truth from other country, that is a bravo, okay? Yes. Big yes, bravo. Yes, and if he try to mediate pieces with, within many nations, that's another bravo, okay? Yes, yes master. master. And he's not a vegan. He probably doesn't have a concept about veganism. Being a business, you know, very busy businessman, yeah? Yes. yes. He lost business before. Yes, yes, he has and then became nothing, and then he built it up again. So what a stamina, huh? Hmm. Become, you know, <laughs> big, big, uh, rich person again, yeah? Yes. Hmm. That's very, very difficult, and he won that. So he probably treats the country like a business. Whatever good for Americans, good for his country, he does it. You see? Yes, yes. As the expense of his, uh, how you say, uh, favorable view yeah from from others yeah from the opposition as well as from environmental people or 
or the humanitarian people or the some benevolent journalists. Yes, yes. But he has to do what he he thinks he he should do, you know, for his uh, uh, president business. <laughs> it's it's not easy. He's only a human, and it also depends on if he has good advisor or not. Yes, yes, yes. You cannot just blame the president alone. He's the president has many advisors. You know that or not? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. And and depends on what the advisors fit him. Yeah, he acts according to that time or according to that advice. Yes. yes. If his advisor happened to tell him, "Oh, don't you cannot announce all this dangerous stuff, even though you knew it," and to, to, you know people will panic and the business will go down. Yes. yes. The uh, investments from foreigner will be withdrawn and will be shrinking in economy and all that stuff. So at that time, he would say, "No, no, it's no problem. It's just a flu." Yes. yes. And he still insists that until the end, until later when some of his, uh, how say. Uh, Assistant got got COVID nineteen. Then he begin to be more more uh, into the the protective uh, feel. He even wore mask at, at last. Yeah. Yes, master. Mm. Before that, he did not. Maybe he he could not think of what to do for the best. Because if you order lockdown, people go out on the street and protest for lack of freedom, for dictatorship controlling whatever and if you don't order lockdown people also go out on the street and protest saying that you don't care about them and do not uh, take care of the pandemic but i i remember seeing some news somewhere that he has ordered a great sum of money and signed some executive order to order some more money from the national a financial resource to help people in time of the pandemic who has no job or who lost their job, etc. Maybe you can find it in the news again. Yes, Master. And also, he ordered research to, as quick as possible, to make a vaccine against the pandemic. I saw him finally wear mask in the public to show people that they should also be. Protective of themselves, being in the presidential position, is very difficult to to really do what it takes to please all people. I don't think you can ever please hundred percent the public's opinions, because everyone thinks differently. Yes, I have just mentioned that he signed an executive order or some sort like that. I, I'm not very familiar with political system and their special terms. So he's supposed to sign some executive order or, or not executive to help the unemployed people, especially the poorer people during pandemic because they lost their job. It was a staggering three hundred zero four billion. U.S. dollars in aid is quite okay <laughs> for me. So I think he really cares about his people. Yes, yes. Just he doesn't really know how to express it very well. He doesn't know how to express himself very eloquently. But I feel that he is a very genuine man, very good-hearted, and. Uh, United States of America is a very big country. It's very difficult to control the border to stop the importing of the COVID-19, even if they have done it early. Ah, yeah, it's it's a mess everywhere. Not many countries were prepared for this magnitude of disaster. It just came from nowhere and still going. I heard that he ordered many hundreds of millions of、uh, face masks to give to people yes, yes, to yes. distribute it to everybody, but somehow it it got stopped. Maybe it's one of the administration staff or some other people, for whatever reason, didn't want to cause panic, didn't want to interrupt the economy. Or、oh, make things worse. I don't know. Very difficult to decide sometimes. Yes, also. He did try to handle the best he can. Also, 
according to all the reports and the research that you can do. He cost for 18 billion US dollars to speed up the vaccine for the COVID-19. He does care. Yes. And also, he did close the border of the United States of America. And then other people also mocked him, uh, laughed at him, say he's a public or something like that. You see, it's like what you say, done if you do, done if you don't. Yes, yes Master. Master. He did try what he can, eh? he tried his best. I don't know if any other president would have done better in that situation and circumstances. And as you watch the news, you, you should know that's not the only problem. People oppose him and the opposition also ridicule him about uh, closing the borders and also criticize him about closing on the immigration at the border, etc. Yes. And that is not to count the protests mushroomed everywhere to also go against him because of the lockdown or because of the mask, etc., etc. I don't know if anyone could be in this president's shoes and still function with so much negative going on. His own staff even betrayed him and other writing books and negative things about him, some of his family members against him and even wants more money from him, suing him, whatever, and, and many other also kind of oppose him. Make it so very, so very chaotic, apart from all the disaster that befell the nation. Uh, are you glad that you are not the president, and especially president of United States of America? Yes. yes. I congratulate you, <laughs> and myself, at least. <laughs> we don't have to be in that position. Uh, we do our work very hard and uh, very diligently. And but we do it with our heart, and we don't have to uh, listen to other people. Uh, we know what we're doing, and we know it's right. Yes, yes Master. Master. All right. Now you know why I, I give him his award, because there are many things that he did and are still doing, which are really good for the people, for the Americans, and for the world. Yes, yes Master. Master. You have to see a big picture of a person, what he does, is good for the world or not, okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Not just American, not just uh, a group, yeah. And being in his position, I, I don't know if anybody else would do better. I really don't know. Even in Sweden, they did not, um, did not uh, lock down. And the whole Europe, they go against Sweden also. They didn't let Swedish people even come in for, to their country for holiday or anything. At one time, you know, right? Yes. Yes. yes, because the Swedish government did not impose a lockdown. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. They just say, okay, be careful, but there is business as usual. Yes. Mm. So some government think like that is better, and some government think like this is better. Yes, master. Yes. Some people believe that if you just let people lose, then they will develop herd immunity. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And then uh, it would be better, and the pandemic will be lessened, and better uh, be gone. Oh, man, it's difficult, okay? They are not uh, clairvoyant, okay? They are humans. Yes, 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 yes. And all this also because of karma, yeah? Karma from the people, that they have pandemic. So you cannot just blame a government or a president alone, huh? Okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. If you have to blame the president, then you blame the advisors also, the whole government stuff, yeah? Yes. A government or a uh, presidential office or prime minister office composed of many elements, yeah? Many egos, many good and bad uh, people and characters, yeah? Yes. And uh, the president alone has to weather all that. Also difficult for him, okay? Yes, yes master. master. But you have to look at the bigger picture, like peace. Oh, I love that, okay? Yes. <laughs> I ask all the government and president of the world, as a world citizen, to do two things, only be vegan, make peace, yeah? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Well, at least he does one. <laughs> 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 at least he... <laughs> He gave me one of my requests, huh? Yeah. Make peace. And it's successful, yeah? Yes. And for that, we 
have to give him some credit, okay? Yes. yes. Everything else, of course, internal conflict and even family conflict, it happens because of personal interest. Yes. Because sometimes in the family they make a trifle war because of for, for inheritance stuff, yeah? Yes. Yes, 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 Master. Or priority stuff, yeah? Okay? Yes. And then they do what they do, huh? family members, yeah? But uh, I think many of his uh, brothers supported him, no? Yes. Uh, I think only one sister talked bad about him, yeah? Yes, yes. yes Master. But nothing very uh, serious, right? right. Yes. yes. And the niece book, what talk about? Um, just just his, uh, about his character. Uh, she thought it was not a good character to be a pre for, for a president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what character could be a president. <laughs> 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 you vote for a president. He does his job. You don't care character too much. I mean, individually, you know, personality. Yes, yes, yes uh, Master. Sometimes we have bad karma with some people, yeah? Yes. And of course, that, uh, is, uh, that will be conflict, and then people will criticize that character, okay? Yes. But it could be just personal karma in the past life. So if he does his job good, good for your country, good for the world, then you should give him bigger credit than just a personal conflict. Yes, Master. And interest. Conflict. Yes, yes, master. Long time ago, I saw one of the historical kind of uh, film, you know, by chance, about about I think uh, Chinggis Khan or yeah, one of the people want to 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 I say want to assassinate him. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes master. master. He already has a chance to come in because he fulfilled all the requirement to see the king. He came in, but then he didn't want to kill him. And then he explained to the king why he doesn't. He said, because the king unites uh, many uh, races together, okay? Yes, Master. Make it to one country. And very, very, uh, so became more powerful, united. And it's uh, bring peace to the nation and make people have more peaceful life. But he wanted to, to kill him because of some personal uh, revenge. Yes, yes, yes Master. And later he think personal revenge is not as important as uh, country's uh, uh, peace and prosperity. Yeah? Yes, yes, mean Master. Because that affects millions of people. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes And Master. for him, only his and, and his family personal vengeance only. Yeah? Right. Yes. So he thought it's not worth it to kill the king because of personal hatred. So he did not kill the king. He came to the king, he could have killed him, Sonia already, but he explained to him he came not to kill him. So I don't know why he came. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in that case, you should not come because you risk your life. Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. And because of that, he has to be killed anyway, and he knew that, and he still did it. He just probably wants to express his uh, gratitude to the king, yeah, in such a way. Yes, Master. But still, because of the law, he, he has to be executed, yeah? Yes. All the same, even with all that good intention. So in many ways, uh, we have to think a bigger, broader picture of the world, okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Instead of just a small uh, space. Anyway, uh, it's very difficult to be in his position and decide things that make people, all people happy. That's not possible. Even any other president could not make all the Americans happy. Yes. All they were happy, yeah? Yes, yeah. Master. So, so he accomplished what he can, and I think there was some uh, good uh, accomplishment, even if people say it is politically motivated. You see? Yes, yes Master. Master. But it's okay, people have the right to think like that. And it's possible that is it politically motivated because of the election, yeah? Yes. yes. But at least it's successful. Who cares of what motivated, yeah? Yes. Peace happened, and a lot of lives, millions could be saved from eternal war in our world. Yes. yes. And blood brother against each other, even. And people living in fear, psychologically oppressed and depressed by the looming war, okay? Like, for example, Korean War. Yes. And that will be involved the war also, and that will be big, and that will be troublesome for the whole Asia, not to talk about the war, okay? If the war broke out, okay? Yes. yes so he did something good, and that's why I gave him a, 
Shining World Leadership Peace Award. And he deserved that. Okay? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. I don't care if people go against me because they're against the President Trump, they might against me too. <laughs> But I get nothing from him. I don't even know him. Yes, yes, yes I did not even get to shake his hand or do anything. Okay? Yes. Mm. So I'm just talking uh, fairly yes, yes, in Master. the point of the world. And he's the first one to walk on the North Korean soul. You know that, right? Yes. yes. At least American president, right? Yes. Yes. yes, Master. And he is the first one who made multi emirates country, uh, Middle East peace happen. Yes. The United Arab Emirates comprises of seven emirates, meaning countries with their own rulers and laws. You know, Israel and the Arab world have been so-called eternally like enemies. And he is the first one who brought peace between Israel and multi-Arab Emirates countries. Before him, two U.S. presidents also did facilitated peace in the Middle East, but just one on one basis. President Trump is the first one who mediated multi-countries peace success in the Middle East. So, hey, he deserves a big, 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 huge bravo from everyone yes. in the world. Well, for me anyway, <laughs> from us. Yes, yes master. master. He sent his son-in-law there even, risking his life, son-in-law's life. Who knows if it's safe to go there? Yes, 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 Master. And then he is the first one also who truly, truly cares about stopping human trafficking. And I mean really tracking down about it, jailing some big ones already. He signed order of 35 million U.S. dollars and another 430 million U.S. dollars for human trafficking prevention, education, victim protection, and stronger government prosecution for human traffickers. All this order to add in tracking and jailing human children traffickers. Others might have talked about it or some done little about it, but he is the first one who really acts strongly, fast and seriously and with heart put into it yes, to protect people and children from human traffickers. And as a big bravo, because it pains my heart also, to know, to see all this human trafficking going on in the world and not much done about it. So maybe he will be also the first one to promote vegan law. We hope so. Who knows, who knows? Yeah, he's the first in many things already. You know, things impossible like Korean peace. Yes, yes, yes Master. And nuclear disarmament, you know? Yes. For Korea and all that, so... Okay, let's uh, give him some balance, yeah? Yes, Master. Right. Yeah. Master, I did hear that he he's the first president in generations that hasn't started a war with other country. Yeah, in, in, in America. Yeah. The first American president that doesn't start a war. Another bravo. Yes, yes Master. Master. Not only he have not started the war, he stopped the war. Yes. He withdrew troops from Afghanistan. Yes. yes. And from where else? Iraq, the Middle Ir East. Iraq. And Syria? Syria, yes. Yeah. Look at that. Okay? The same countless of lives, human lives even. Yes, yes Master. Master. And he care about human trafficking for children and all. If he signed so much order for almost $500 million dollars for tracking down and solving the issue of uh, human trafficking, then he must really care about it. Yes, Master. I mean, This problem about human trafficking is not like a majority. That means that he really cares about it. It's not like he wants to do that so that people will vote for him. Yes. So it's, it's truly caring, in my opinion. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. Not only has President Trump done good uh, things about the human trafficking to track them down and eliminating it, because can you imagine how many innocent, poor, helpless children have been kidnapped and forced into this kind of despicable 
uh, work just for some rich uh, privileged few. How many parents have agonized over the loss of their children and doesn't know what happened to them. So this is a very important law reinforcing that uh, President Trump has done to his country as well as to the world. Yes, yes, I yes. cannot thank him enough for that. Because to think of all the children <laughs> helplessly delivered into this brutal beast of so-called beast, I cannot bear it. <laughs> I'm just too emotional, well, never mind about that. The other service that Mr. President Trump, also his uh, administration had done good to, <laughs> to humans, are uh, to stop some of the pharmacy who has done harm to people. They mix some of the drug like opium into some pills so that people take them and become addict even. If you take it long enough, you become addicted. The pharmacy are supposed to help people, to cure people, to heal people, but they use their privilege, know-how and power to harm people. Yes, yes, Master. So President Trump and his administration have made these pharmacy pay and they have stopped these kind of illegal, harmful, hurtful activities of the pharmacies and one of these so-called pharmacies already been caught. So President Trump, bless him, and his administration. I'm sorry, I'm still so emotional. <laughs> I cannot bear that people abuse children in any way at all. These are wicked evils. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> All right, then, then you know, you know, even pharmacy is supposed to, <laughs> to cure people illness and help them protect their health, but instead, some of them did evil things like that to harm people. So I am glad that there are such governments exist in this world. I hope Mr. President and his administration continue to help their citizens as well as uh, the world citizens to be on the right track. I have just found out about the pharmacy uh, illegal drug today, 6 October. But this uh, case must have happened long time already, it's just that I never have watched the news up to recently because of the COVID-19 concerning everybody. And you know, I don't prepare my speech in advance. Yes, Master. I don't do a lot of research in this, all this mundane stuff, it's just recently, by the way, it happens. And then I scan the news for you guys so I know more about President Trump. But if you know more, about uh, what he and his uh, government did that is good for humans, animals, or world, citizens, or all beings of any kind. Please uh, add it on to our program with the voice over, okay? Yes, yes master. master. The one that I add on today about the drug, I have just found it down, so add it on. But the rest you find out, please add it on, okay? Yes, master. Good government. Good leader, we must support as much as we can. Thank you. Some of President Trump and his administration's good accomplishments. In response to the pandemic, provided 13 billion US dollars in relief for farmers, increased monthly food security benefits for low income households signed an executive order to support the mental health of vulnerable groups, etc. Help to reduce unemployment for black and Hispanic Americans to record low levels in 2019. Signed multiple bills to benefit Native American communities, including compensation for past land loss, funds for language preservation, etc. 
enacted major reforms with the First Step Act for the humane treatment of inmates and more support for those returning to society. Secured billions of US dollars to address the US opioid epidemic and signed a law to manage overprescribing and abuse. Lowered the prices of prescription medicines for senior citizens and increased affordable health insurance options. Launched a program to make expensive HIV prevention drugs free to those without prescription drug insurance as part of the administration's plan to eliminate the HIV AIDS epidemic in the US within 10 years. Conducted a multi-agency federal action plan to reduce childhood-led exposure in vulnerable communities. Signed the Prevent Animal Cruelty and Torture, or PACT Act, into law, making certain severe offences a federal crime with penalties. Signed an executive order and other active measures to protect unborn children. Signed an act to provide 10 million US dollars annually to reduce marine debris through research, prevention and reduction. Signed a law to protect over 525,000 hectares of new wilderness and safeguard 400,000 plus hectares of public lands from future mining operations. Ordered troop withdrawals from Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria. Mediated the normalization of economic ties between Serbia and Kosovo, etc. So at least he have some, uh, you know, some uh, good point in his heart, yeah? yeah? Yes. If he did have a better personal background or some more spiritual education when he was younger, yeah, then he could have done much better thing. Yes. yes. But all the, the thing that he did that is not right according to the media report and the people, it was maybe because of his background, okay, huh? Yes. But even with the bad background, he grew up out of it and did some good thing, good, important, big things for the world. Yeah, yes. that is not to start any war and stop the war and make peace. That's three steps. It's very difficult to make. Yes, yes. Yeah, mostly America is the police of the world, and they flex muscle. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. And he's the one who did the opposite. Growing out of America, growing out of this kind of environment, who, whose uh, race always believe in making war. Yes, Master. Or to flex the muscle. And he didn't do that. He did the opposite. So he doesn't fear. He just did what he thinks is correct. Yeah? Yes, yes master. master. Number one. Number two. Many people fear China. Uh, just talking about it. I go further, okay? I hope you guys protect me, okay? <laughs> okay, we are just discussing things, okay? Yes, yes, ma'am.